start this session. Good morning, Rohita. Good morning, Divya. Clear. Thank you. Right then, uh, right girls, uh, the first thing is I am going to start chapter 1 of paper 1 and section A. Paper 1, section A, chapter 1. What is political theory and what is this? Now, this chapter is very good in IGNO book. This is degree book of IGNO degree first year book of IGNO in political science. I will share this chapter. We just have a look at that chapter after finishing our module. Right? An introduction to political theory, OP Gauba. OP Gauba is also a very good, but the basics will be very clear because these books, they start at one point called what is politics, what is theory, and then they will tell you uh, the so-called how the subject evolved. So this is one good advantage of academic books. Always academic books are very important because they will try to make the student to analyze the concepts from very basics like politics, theory, how theory is different, how politics is different, how politics is evolving. So this is how we have to start preparation for our uh, subjects also. Don't start with high five books, start with the basics, academic books, then we'll understand what exactly is it, right? So first thing. PSIR political theory is the chapter in this as per UPSC syllabus the topic is meaning of political theory approaches to political theory this is what it has in chapter one from this I wanted to do with this what we study in this chapter I will try to analyze previous year questions how far this topic is important for UPSC that is what I wanted to tell you first how many marks are going to come here and what is the type of questions that they are asking by looking at the nature of the questions uh, I think you will be in a good position to understand how the topic is being oriented next one is uh, after analyzing the previous questions I will start with basics what is political theory as such and what is the difference between philosophy theory science voice is breaking is it uh, breaking for everyone or only for uh, the particular person? Can you check others? Is my voice okay or is it breaking? Clearly audible. Chanikya, uh, I think the problem is from your end. So please uh, check it once. For others, it is clear, right? My voice is clear. Divya, Gita, Rohita, Sahitya. For others, it is clear. 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 Right. Thank you. Janke, I need uh, I need you to check from here in. I think this is a problem from here in. Yes. What is political theory? Then I am going to discuss about what is the difference between philosophy what is the difference between theory what is science right we have to know this political philosophy political theory political science then how the discipline has evolved how this political science we are political science and international relations students right in that first thing is what political theory first you have to know what is political science political science is the subject okay in that you have to know what is political science before that you have to know what is political theory what is political philosophy now how the discipline has evolved right just like a human being when he was born like an infant then he goes to the child stage then he goes to the adolescent stage then he reaches to the so called uh, uh, a grown up man and next he becomes elderly right just like a human being every subject not only political science every subject starts and evaluates over a period of time mathematical subject mathematics it starts at somewhere and then it evolves over a period of time electrical engineering started at some place it evolved mechanical engineering started at some place and it evolved computer science engineering itself started and evolved these are science subjects look at humanity subjects social sciences which is related to the society society starts at one place and it starts evolving similarly here also the subject of political science started at some place way back in third century bc and then it has started evaluating over a period of time or evolution 
so you have to know how this subject has evolved over a period of time and that will give you clarity on how our uh, discipline has its roots right that is one thing so it started as philosophy it started uh, as a religious congregation in the next slide then it started it having its own autonomy then it started growing as an empirical science what is those things i will be discussing next the second component this is up to two three four is the first component in your syllabus that is called meaning of political theory to understand that i am saying this two three four and the five one fifth one is approaches to political theory philosophical approach historical approach empirical approach legal institutional approach right empirical approach is also known as behavioral approach after behavioral approach you have one more approach called post behavioral approach and modern approach what are these things we'll discuss don't worry right this is one thing so this is what the subject or first chapter is all about this is what the first chapter is all about let's quickly look at previous year questions how they are asked in 2020 the question is discuss the significance of Uh, first thing, I think they have this 2021 question. Let me tell you 2021 question. I have already shared previous year questions. Okay, I have shared already this in the group. Please download it, take a printout so that you should have this, not uh, the market material.